Hey, what is going on, y'all? Here with another vid, and this time we're looking over the tier list for Apex Legends for Season 13. Why? Well, it's because this is like the hardest season ever. People are stuck in gold when their last season they were masters, diamonds, and it's just like, bruh, what is going on? So let's see if the buffs and nerfs really changed some legends, and they actually did. So without further ado, leave a subscription, leave a like, leave a comment. I don't know, do whatever you want. And uh, why am I making this? What are you, the police? All right. Now that we got that handled, let's continue on with this video. All right, so first off, let's do uh, Crypto. Crypto, so he didn't really get any changes for this season. He's a pretty good uh, legend. He can pick up banners, uh, you know, as far as hell. And I can put him in straight up mid-tier. Why? Because his abilities, uh, really, it's like, mostly it's just one ability and then it's his ult but uh yeah i think it's overall pretty good not great on the offensive more on the recon but when you have other legends like valkyrie it's just like bruh you're kind of not gonna win gibraltar gibraltar uh so this man is a big hawaiian samoan looking dude and overall really good legend his ult's still good even though with the big nerf uh you know seasons before uh tank and he has an invincible bubble something that any other legend does not have so he goes straight into s tier the shield and the ult make him just incredible also he can take hits like a madman so overall s tier sorry to say horizon now horizon's an interesting character because she can elevate the whole team to a higher plane uh hypothetically religiously physically so i think that Horizon goes straight into A tier. It's, her ult's pretty good, but unless you have nades or have a competent team, uh, it could work. But, you know, you know how it would be actual game. So, straight up A tier. Um, elevation is good, but overall, it's just, I mean, I don't know. Uh, not that great. Uh, Fuse, his ult's kind of, kind of bad. Definitely needs a buff. And his grenades are pretty tight. He can hold two per slot. His Q is decent i'm gonna put him in straight up b tier why this is because he is an all right legend honestly actually go straight into mid if he was uh fortified that would make him even better but for an assault kind of legend straight up mid uh caustic oh so caustic was really strong during the uh king's canyon arc last season split and i think it was really good he goes into a tier because his ult crazy zoning his tactical as well and although you can take down the traps that's just the only thing stopping him from getting into s tier honestly loba loba has equipment she has a thing to get away uh, overall pretty good legend uh her black market's super helpful and there's a glitch where you can see exactly where the items are if you do that little ping thing so i'm gonna put her straight into b tier she's pretty good more of a solo q kind of legend uh, decent i guess uh mirage mirage has some pretty good abilities b tier i'm sorry it's just like his decoy is all right he can bamboozle but that only gives you the location one perks and compared to like bloodhound you can know the other team for hours bro you're straight up the cia so uh yeah that's where he goes octane s tier why this is because his, his movement's impeccable he can flank really well his hitbox kind of small and he has a stim that doesn't use uh much of a cooldown it's really his health that you know goes down so overall really good legend really really good legend he can also move his whole team with his ultimate the cooldown is ser seriously so short uh shorter than just about anything in my life uh so let's go straight into revenant revenant f tier why because he just needs to be deleted from the game for an assault legend it doesn't even make sense he's not really an assault legend i get his ult can be used for assault he has that climbing passive cool but he definitely needs a buff he needs fortified or something because the silence is just like not that great and it's that's it that's it nothing much to be said about him 
Mangalore A tier. Why this is? Because she has a smoke that's really good. She can move around. She has movement just like Octane in the form of a passive. And that's only if she's getting into fights. So actually B tier. Why this is? Because while her ult's pretty good, it does give the team the other team enough time to find a place to hide always. I mean, it's very rare you get hit by it. Although it is punishing, it's just not that good. Uh, Pathfinder, his hitbox is so big, but his ult makes up for it. And... I would put him in the A tier if he had another buff, but he doesn't, so he goes all the way down the C tier. I mean, if you know how to play Pathfinder, you're a god. Hashtag it's Timmy, but overall, we're not a pro X pro, so he goes straight into mid tier. Seer. Now, Seer is actually an up for debate here because he has a tactical that's pretty decent. It stops any ability and lets you know the exact health. His ult can let you know the positioning of the enemy team at all times, and it's hard to get away from if it's well played. So I'm gonna put him straight into A tier. It's just really good how he can utilize all these abilities for his team. And this is a team game, so that gives him bonus points there. Rampart with the buff, straight up A tier. This, in, this Indian Hindu woman is actually a godsend with the buffs. Why this is because Sheila has a really short uh, come up time and uh, overall can lay down the damage and you can put it away come bring it back up overall i think the buffs are really good for her and makes her a really good champion especially for team play so well, actually b i'm sorry uh, it's just not that great but she definitely got a boost from like e tier uh mad maggie e tier i'm just i'm sorry it's just her ult's not that good while it does help with mobility doesn't really help with elevation the wrecking ball can easily be avoided and while this does give a speed boost to your team it can also give a speed boost to the enemy team and if the enemy team has really good movement you're done you're just done i'm sorry uh bloodhound uh s tier why this is because he gives the uh, exact positioning of the whole team for a while the scans are pretty good and whenever he has his ult he actually can use his tactical way more often i feel like this is underrated and more champions should do this also his passive is pretty good seeing the footsteps finding enemy team especially in ranked and can lead the team to a good fight overall really good legend that is s tier uh newcastle straight up gets a c tier why this is because his revive isn't that great his tactical is pretty good and then if you know how to use it really well then you're you're good but uh actually b tier because with his team uh abilities it really does help for fights and if a newcastle knows how to play him and can use his tactical really well i've seen just some dirty dirty combos like with gibraltar and a peacekeeper and it really kind of rivals that but overall it's just not as good the shields aren't invincible his ult isn't invincible and it could and right when you place it down you can just find a way around it flank it so while it's pretty good for barriers it is very temporary in terms of strength it will only really work for a short time. Uh, Valkyrie, straight up S tier. She's a godsend. She's hot. She's beautiful. She's beautifully done. And her abilities are also amazing. The recon, the movement. It's just, she's on a whole other tier of her own. I actually feel like putting her in, in the tier above, honestly. Um, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Yeah, I should, honestly. But I'll just, um, nah, I guess the other guys can work there. Uh, let me see, let me see. Can I put some below? No. Watson, you know, she's pretty good. Her her zoning with her fences are good. And if you know how to use her, you can definitely solo queue yourself up to a higher rank. But overall, she does get the D tier because her ult's not that good. It can easily be countered. And while it's good for cover, it doesn't really last that long in terms of how much health it has, especially compared to someone like Newcastle. So overall, D tier. Lifeline, D tier. I mean, while her revives are good and she has that life bot, that's giving the implication that you get hurt a lot past shield. And that's just not something that an average player or experienced player is really gonna go through. So she straight up gets the E tier, I'm sorry. It's just not that strong. She's definitely needing a buff. And Wraith, A tier, why this is? Because she's really good as a solo player. Um, she doesn't really help the team that much other than their teleports, pretty good. But other than that, and her passive is basically non-existent. She straight up gets the B tier actually because it's just not that good mirage actually goes to d tier what am i thinking i mean his revives aren't that good he is uh he has a pretty big hitbox and he doesn't really do that much for the team uh except for revive invisible and i guess that's pretty cool ash goes straight into a tier why this is because her ult's really good has good movement can zone 
uh, can flank people with this and overall can help the team a lot with trapping. I've seen many times that an Ash can trap someone and we all know its location because it literally shows you as a squad mate. So overall, her team based abilities are really good. And I think that other legends can adopt some similar uh, attributes that she has really because, dude, I don't think I think some other of these guys can use what she does like for example the decoy not the decoy but the trap that lets other squad mates know um i think caustic or even let's see uh so rampart could get a buff in which people who break the shield you know their their location like the whole squad knows for a second just like a mirage decoy i think that could really buff the legend same with watson i mean if everyone can see the fence i think they can i'm not too sure they need to make sure that they can and uh yeah that would be good too and other than that maggie she can get a major buff if the whole squad can see the heat signatures from the damage and if the heat signatures can last a little bit longer yes it is wall hacks but she really doesn't have that great of a kit and uh, some of these people's ults over here are just not that good hashtag fuse so overall they need a definite boost uh in just overall balance because this isn't good oh revenant should just be deleted from the game until they come up with something better because overall his abilities are lacking it's just not good compared to everyone else um if he could have an ability where it shows where people were silenced like it shows the squad mates where he silenced someone that would be good too uh a audible sound isn't that great also can we talk about the hit register in apex i'll probably make that in another video but overall i'm feeling good about this um this tier list i think it's pretty decent and uh, i think i'm gonna end the video there so thank you for watching hope you agree with me and if you don't let me know in the comments let me know if i'm wrong in some way and uh i'll definitely challenge you on that or just block you nah i won't block you but uh we can you know ch exchange fists in in public and that's how we'll settle it back of the schoolyard all right i'll see you there uh thank you for watching